Uh, Peter Victor, the renowned ecological economist and a founding president of CANC, who's going to be joining us in conversation, along with Haida economist Miles Richardson. <laughs> Easy, he says. We're also going to be inviting Andrea Reimer, uh, the deputy mayor of Vancouver, and Marin Smith from Clean Energy Canada up to contribute to the discussion after the interlude, which will be provided by Deanna Knight from Vancouver's own Hot Club of Mars. But before we get started tonight, I think it's important to acknowledge something which we say at the beginning of events like this, but it doesn't become any less important. Today, I don't know if anybody made it down to the federal courthouse at noon, but there were nations from as far away as Ganasatage in Quebec to Manitoba and all across northern BC who were there in federal court standing up for their title and rights with regard to the Enbridge Northern Gateway Project, which is being challenged in court over the next six days. And it was a reminder that the place that we call home in Vancouver um, doesn't technically belong to us. It's uh, unceded, which means it was never sold and never conquered. And this is the territory of the Coast Salish nations. And so to open up the evening, I want to welcome the Musqueam dancers who have been kind enough to welcome us to their territory to do the work we have tonight. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Timothal Telt Telt Squeeze Talit Salt Qua Stalo. My uh, given name is Timothal uh, Tel. My government name is Francis James, and we are Tsatsu Stelkaya. Um, we're a little bit of a young group. Uh, we were formed in the winter of um, 2009, leading up to the 2010 Olympics, and we just we came together to share some of our history of not only the Musqueam people, but our surrounding areas, villages, and First Nations. Uh, we have many nations that belong to our group, uh, such as Musqueam, Squamish, Okanagan, Saanich, uh, Stalo, and some New Chanlith as well. Um, we can go on with all of the places we're connected to. But the song that we sang when we were coming in is known, it's called Paddle to Battle, and I kind of saw it fitting here this evening with uh, the work that you, you're here for, the work that you're, you're about, um, not only the 
a paddle to battle a, another nation, but to look after our environment that we live amongst and have for many years. We're going to share one of our songs. Um, it's our warrior song, and with our people, our warriors were the ones that stood in front of our people against any enemy. And we do this in honor of not only our, our ancestor warriors, but our modern day warriors, our people that fight for our rights, that fight for our environment, that look after our children, the, the ones that educate our children in the school system. So we, when we do this song, we like to, also like to dedicate this song to, to them as well. So this is our warrior song. Among our Coast Salish people, uh, our Hulkamanum speaking group, we have a word, a simple word that's shortened. Um, it's called haichka. Can you guys say haichka with me? Haichka. Haichka is the shortest way to say thank you in our language. And we have a song that was shared um, with some of our family that's entitled Many Haichkas, which basically is many thank yous. And without saying words, our simplest, easiest way to say thank you in our way is raising your hands like this, giving thanks. We're going to give thanks to you that are here, that are doing the work that you're doing here um, and the work that you do during your, your walk. Um, so this is our many haichkas. We want to thank you for having us here this evening. We are Tatsu Stalkaya, and in English that means uh, coastal wolves, coastal wolf packs. So we'd like to thank you for giving us a little bit of time to welcome you here this evening, and we hope you enjoy your evening. Um, just a little bit more on the paddle song that we sang on the way in. 
our tribes, when we would sing these paddle songs, it was to let the people know we're coming with good intentions and that we're coming with good feelings. So we have to leave the same way and uh, leave with good feelings and good intentions from being here this evening. So we'd like to thank you again. Yalchia Kosai. Incredible. Thank you so much to the Coastal Wolf Pack for situating the discussion that we're about to have in its proper geographic context, this place we call Vancouver. <laughs> 